Serious question. Do you want to get rich before you die? If you do, keep listening. If you're not interested in that stuff, just go away. All right, let me break it down to you. Something new that I'm doing. It's been going on for a minute, but I just decided to bring it to YouTube, which is the business of real estate. There's so many things out there on how to buy real estate. Well, one of my clients has decades of experience from owning a real estate company to rehabbing REOs, AKA foreclosures and other things. And she came to me for another purpose. And once I did my evaluation, I was like, Hey, people need to know this information. So this is not flipping houses. This isn't something super crazy, but it's sound financial advice. So you don't get in trouble with your real estate purchase from, <clears throat> For most people, your house is the most expensive transaction in your life. And there's not a lot of information out there from the insider view. There's a lot of people who are talking about flipping houses because if you find the right house and you flip it, you can make a lot of money real quick. But since I've been doing this research, I've come across some things that are very, very, very familiar. One of them is the lottery type aspect of real estate. You go out, you get something, you buy it really, really, really cheap. Then you sell it really, really fast and you make a lot of money. Sounds good in theory, but the reality is it's not. I, I have friends, people that I know who deal with real estate and I watch their Facebook stuff and all of them are doing Forex and some other stuff and some other stuff because the money from the real estate game is not as consistent as they would like. Plus, they all seem to stop at four to six houses. Now, there's some natural reasons why this happens, but that just seems to be the number. Then I have another group of friends who are past this. And the reason that they're past this is because they have professions or jobs. One of them actually has a job that makes you know seven to eight figures a year, they have the resources to properly do real estate deals. And I started to think about that. We just keep coming to similar things in different industries. So I talked to Regina, that's her name, and she's creating this course and she's writing this book to help people properly do real estate deals. Now, no fly by night and this is going to take some time to develop because I am the proctor of the course. I will add the hustlers Kung Fu Dojo element, which is you got to have some kind of business. And I think part of the reason that many of you don't know what you want to do is you have no big goal. There, there's just, I want to live. I want to flex. I want to make more money. I want to be comfortable. That, is not really wakes you up in the morning with this burning desire to achieve something. It just doesn't. One of my goals was to leave a legacy. That was one of the reasons that, you know, I made the decision to depart resell and write books and do this YouTube channel because this can live, this can outlive me and legacy is very, very important to me. So what if you were going to, create your company for the sole purpose of buying one piece of property. Initially one piece of property, let's just one, let's deal with one thing, not 20, 30, but one, cause you can't make your hundred for, you can't make a hundred dollars till you make your first dollar. And many people try to leap over that beginning process and wonder why it's not working out, but you create a business and the goal of this business is to buy your first piece of property and either if you finance it, pay it off very fast within four or five years or pay cash. Think about that. It takes you four years or six to get your undergrad. 
and it takes you two to four to get your MBA. So let's just say you do both. And you're going to spend six figures or close to it. 50, 60,000 minimum, right? And it's going to take you six years. Now, you start a business. And in four years, the business is making enough money to support you and there's excess. Now, what if you said, okay, if this business, this business only has to last five years. If that business does this one thing, which is to buy a piece of property, whether it's the piece that you live in or an investment property, and it's completely paid off. Now, you're in the catbird seat because once you have an asset, something that's paid off, you can leverage that. So you can turn that one piece of property into two in a sane, sensible manner. But we keep the business going, we buy a piece of property every year. So that's the kind of stuff that we're doing in the business of real estate. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit differently because Regina has never created a course before. I've never done this before. So the price is $399. And that's what it's going to stay for a while while we build this thing out. Now, tomorrow, there's going to be a very special component to the business real estate. So that's going to drop tomorrow. And there's already the foundation of wealth. There's our first call. Plus, as we get this thing meaty, there's going to be calls where you can talk to Regina. Where it's like, hey, you got a question from now. She has owned her own firm. She's owned multiple properties. She's been a loan officer. Did that for a long time. And was an asset manager for one of the largest banks in the world which is the people who handled the foreclosures after they turned in REOs, if I'm saying that correct. So I urge you to think about this because it's going to be very really different. And this is just the beginning of what I'm going to do with Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo in terms of building stuff, because I'm in talk with other professionals with expertise that can help you have a better life, make more money, and we can accelerate this learning curve. So that's going to be going down. Links below. And I get in. Because this is going to be a lot of information. And the thing is, if you're not currently in a position to buy a house due to lack of money, credit, any of these things that are barriers, I want you to understand. Because I'm going to tell you something that happened to me. That when you can make a lot of money in a short period of time, a short period of time has been a year. If you can keep your job, keep your job. I'm not saying quit your job. Keep your job. Create a side business that can make twenty to eighty thousand dollars after expenses, profit. What you can do as an investor becomes very real, even if you have shitty credit. Because you walk to someone and you say, "Hey." I've got a credit issue. And first thing I'm going to do is, oh, God, another one of them. And then you say, I've got $50,000 cash. Well, let's talk. See, that happened to me years and years ago on one of my deals. And unbeknownst to me, my credit really wasn't that bad. It's just when you come out of the job world, Everyone treats you like a leper when you're like, I'm self-employed, I own the business. Well, come to find out, my credit was more than adequate to do the deal. I just wasn't thinking like that because I became so cash and carry oriented. So we went through the deal and then we started talking because he wanted the, all of the 50. I only had $50,000. You know, that was a lot of money. But I went ahead to the bank and it was just you know, asking questions. And then it was like, well, you can actually, you know, we can do a loan of 50000 I was like, really? So I doubled my efforts. And I'll talk about what I did because I'm going to recommend that you don't do that kind of real estate investing that I did because it's it could, great money. Great, great money if you built for it, but it was crazy. And that's one of the things that I'll, I talked about in the first call. And there'll be some other stuff. But... I want you to think, 
if you start now, regardless of where you are, that if you put yourself on the path with better information, because I'm going to give you some of the stuff that we're going to talk about. All right. So we're going to go here. I'm just give you a quick overview. Because, we, you know, we're expecting three to four months to build this out, right? I'm not going to read all that, but curriculum topics, because, you know, like I said, we're building this thing out. Well, a first time homeowner needs to know, because that's where most people are going to start their real estate investing. They're going to buy a house, live in it, then buy something else. That's going to be the easiest path. How to protect yourself from real estate transactions. There's some information that I'm getting from three other sources that's going to help you with that. How to write up a real estate contract and not do some illegal stuff. How to evaluate a closing attorney. The foreclosure process and how it can benefit you. How to start a real estate company. How to get your broker's license. Why you should get your broker's license. The role of a real estate agent. The role of a real estate broker. How to manage property. How to run the real estate business. How to prepare for an investor loan. How to fund properties. How to build a relationship with a bank. And a lot more. Because one of the things that I see. Hold on, put that over there. Frequently is what I call accelerated wealth tactics. I'm not going to say it doesn't work because I've never taken these courses. And my stance here on YouTube is if I don't take the course or if I don't know beyond a shadow of a doubt what it is or what it isn't, I don't talk about it. I'll just say I see a lot of courses that defy the laws of finance because you can ride around. And you can find houses and you can make offers to people and hope that they're desperate enough to take your ridiculous offer. But the reality is the property that you want to buy is usually in a marketplace that's really good. Like I just did another deal, uh, did two, moved from Dunwoody, moved back to Sandy Springs. In both places, inventory is low. So you're not going to find one of those crazy deals unless you know somebody. Like maybe Nana or Papa is getting ready to go into a retirement home and they don't really care about the house. They just want to get rid of it. That happens in any market. But the reality is, if you know your market and you know that people are putting in multiple offers, nobody who has any understanding of the marketplace is going to take one of those low ball offers. I went one, two. I lost three deals because I couldn't move fast enough. I mean, stuff. Sign goes up, contracts the same day. So you want to have property in that kind. You want to have the worst property in the best neighborhood because a good neighborhood just gets better and better and better. Once again, with my experience of owning property in the hood, I got stuff for, you know, for the cheap, cheap, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, right? Paid cash for it. But the thing is, who are you dealing with? <clears throat> Who your renters are. <clears throat> it's just. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. But what this is going to be is a firm education that will last you a lifetime. And, you know, if you ever bought a house, you know, property inspections, damn near 300 bucks. You know, you're dealing with stuff that just little stuff like knowing if your agent is being straight up with you, talk about those things. So the cost of this course, and if you do one deal, will be so small in comparison to what you save and walking into a deal armed with knowledge, knowing what's going to be said, knowing how this thing's going to go versus being, oh, I'm getting my house. Oh, Lord. Because see, when you're in that phase, when you're all happy and all gassed up, that's how you end up paying extra points, paying more money than you should and being taken advantage of. And they'll do it all day long and smile at you like, yeah, just keep signing, keep signing, keep signing, keep signing, keep signing. And you could be spending an extra 80 to $300 a month that you didn't have to spend if you had a better understanding. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot until you really start pulling out the calculator. 
And we're going to start at the $80 mark, right? Because money's cheap right now. So you, it's, you, know, you can go down a few points, but a lot of times it doesn't make sense to refinance. But I know I got a calculator on here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go at this $80 deal, right? <laughs> okay, let's get out of there. $80. Let's say you keep the house five years times 60. You pay five grand more than you had to at the $80 mark. Now you pay 300 bucks a month more than you have to times 60. You paid 18,000. Happens every day. Every day because people don't know. And you could be, and also I want you to think about this. How often do you buy a house? For most people, it might be three or four times in a lifetime unless they become a serious investor. So it's very hard for you to know what you need to know unless you take this course and to educate yourself. So that's pretty much it. That's what I have. You want to be part of this learning experience. It is below the links below. There's some information there for you. There'll be more information tomorrow and there will be some more. Is it Sunday? Because what we're doing is we're strategizing. Plus, I don't know if this is confirmed because I've asked and I got, mm, so I can't say that's a yes, but get you some commercial real estate training. Don't know if he's going to do it. Hope he's going to do it. And that's what I'm like. It's not part of the course, but it's something I'm pushing towards and someone else that I'm looking to bring into the fold. But essentially, do you want to continue to be hopeful or do you want to take charge of your life? Choice is yours. Once again, links below. So with that, I will see you on the inside.